Once you have connected or selected your Facebook ad accounts at the first step, click Next. If you are using Google Analytics to track the performance of your Facebook campaigns, you can connect Google Analytics 4 as a tracking platform to all selected Facebook ad accounts. By doing this, the optimizer will be able to import revenue, conversion, and other session data from Google Analytics and make it available for every Facebook campaign. To get started, select an existing Google Analytics integration or click on Add New to add a new integration, then select Google Analytics 4 from the list of supported trackers. Give this integration a name and click Save. Complete the authorization process by signing in with a valid Google account. Click Next to continue. Click on Add Analytics Property to select which Google Analytics property would you like to use for this integration. If the Google profile you use to authenticate has access to more than one Google Analytics account, then first select an account. Select a property from the list of available properties. Select which Google Analytics metrics do you want to import. Some metrics are required and cannot be unselected, but you can add more metrics if necessary. In the next section, you need to define how are you passing Facebook campaign, ad set, and ad information back to Google Analytics. You have two options. Option one, the recommended option, use a separate UTM parameter for each Facebook macro, or option two, custom tracking. Custom tracking allows you to pass all Facebook macros under one UTM parameter. It is useful in scenarios where you are already using most of UTM parameters for other purposes and only have one or two UTM parameters left. To do this, the optimizer provides a custom format where you can concatenate multiple Facebook macros with pipe under one UTM parameter. Click Add to complete the connection to this property. Repeat the process if you would like to connect more than one property. Click Finish to complete the integration. Important, make sure that the tracking code that you see in this final step is present in all your Facebook ads in the URL parameters section. 